Hello YouTube, and welcome back to my playthrough of Liberty City Stories. Let's continue from where we left off, and let's do uh, JD's next mission. Dawn in 60 seconds. Thank God you're here, Tommy. I just had a tip-off that the cops are gonna raid us! So? You got a license? Not for some of the shit that goes on here. Salvatore is here, paying my girls a, a special visit, you know? We gotta get him out of here before the cops arrive. Uh, meet him out front. Never a dull moment. So Salvatore is here and the cops are about to raid the club. My hairstyle is 60% grease. You're making me lose my cool here, get man. Get me the hell out of here. You did well today, son. I like your style. I always have. Thank you, Mr. Leone. You know, I think Vincenzo has taken up too much of your time. I could use a good fellow like you. Give me a call sometime. Uncle Sal will take care of you. I just love that Liberty City Stories theme. Okay, so now we can do missions for Salvatore. The offer. Hey, boss, you okay? Do I look okay? No. Then what are you, a fucking moron? You're always saying the obvious. I can't believe I'm surrounded by people like you. Sorry. Listen, I'm sorry. Tony, you're one of my most trusted allies. After what you did, you're like a son to me. Better than my son. Better than any son. Your mother is a lucky woman. So I hear. Anthony, it's over for guys like us. We're dinosaurs, or dodos, or dildos, or something. I tell you, even in my own family, I feel like Jesus, surrounded by 12 Judases. I mean, listen to this. I got a union boss, abroad no less, that I need to do me a favor, and she asked me for money? All I wanted was 24-hour access to the docks while the strike was going on. Strikes that I helped organize so my boys could offload some drugs. And now I get this horse shit? I mean, these are people that I personally fought for, people I've killed for, honest people, and this is how they repay it's me? It's insulting. It's a disgrace. We're finished. Men of honor like you and me. Listen, Tony, I want you to take something to her. You're gonna take this crap off abroad? For now? What choice do I have? Look, go down there, pay her off, and tell her I'd like to have a word with her. Go. You know what I, um, uh, one thing I really don't like about Salvatore is I really don't like when he uses that term, men of honor. Like, he considers himself a man of honor, but yet he's the one who's dealing drugs. And he considers himself a man of honor. And also, like, what he did in Las Venturas, especially to, like, Ken Rosenberg. Frank Vincent did do a really good job, um, uh, playing him in, in this game and in GTA 3 and San Andreas. Die in American stereotypes, you know? Kind of weird how like a lot of mobsters have like this, you know, specific code, but like they have like a weird sense of morality. Okay, so here the um the dockyard, there's a strike going on at the dockyard. 
Salvatore wants to talk. I'm not playing Salvatore's game. Thanks for the donation, kids. See you around. Not good? That was not a good negotiation at all. Um, okay. Time to get out of, out of here. Wow, these people are... Okay. I'm still being chased? You gotta be kidding me. There he is! Okay, there we go. No more chasing me there. Okay, now I gotta get out of the docks here. Oh, volatile situation. I wonder if this is the rooftop mission. Hey, Tony. Uh, I can't come out right now. I'm busy, you know? Why? What's going on in there? And what the hell is that smell? Look, Tony, we're catering to some real uh, specialists today. Their stuff is internet gold dust. What you should be concerning yourself with is that Leone gaming house up in St. Mark's. The Sindacos are going nuts about it. I heard they're gonna blow the place off the map. Oh no, not this mission. Oh no, no, no. No, 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 not this mission. Ugh. Okay, we have to stop by an ammunition. Um, okay. Now, here's the thing. Like, a lot of GTA games, they have that, like, one specific mission that the game is really, is really, like, well known for. Like, and some, like, really bad missions. And this, in this case, this is a pretty bad mission. Um, this is an annoying one. Um, okay. Let me stop by here at Ammunition, because I'm going to need an SMG for this. This is... I got all your home defense needs. Uh... Okay, hopefully that, that is enough. Okay. Now, what's going to happen here is the Sindaco family is going to be um, seeking retaliation against the Leones after we killed their drug dealers. They're going to try to blow up the Leone casino here. Tony? It's JD. Look, I just heard there's a bunch of Sindaco goons coming your way, and they're packing big time. Watch yourself. Thanks, JD. Appreciate it. Okay, now we have to stop them before they get to the casino, and the worst part of this mission is near the end. Okay, there we go. Another- here comes another one. Save some of the SMG ammo. Oh no. Damn, how. Oh man, this guy just does not want to die. Okay. More. Oh, they're in up. Like 
this. Oh, what am I doing? Trying to hijack a cop car. Ah, uh, okay. Man, the enemies in this game, they're even programmed to steal, like, other vehicles and then, like, drive towards the casino. That's kind of... Here comes the worst part now. The Sendakos have rigged a huge truck bomb. They're gonna take out the casino in one go. We gotta stop that truck before it gets near. It's gonna blow the whole casino up. Great. This is the worst part right now. care of that. Oh man, that that mission just I I don't like that mission. I know I did that mission pretty good there, but that mission like if you don't have a submachine gun on that mission, you're screwed. Like the game doesn't the game doesn't give you a submachine gun until you kill the Sendakos. It's like that that mission just sucks. Okay, next mission here. Tony, the Sendako's got this place, the Doll's House. It's a casino and bordello in one. Classy, so you might lose at the tables, but you can bank on the ass. <laughs> well, the place is key to the setup over here. If you were to put it out of business, you know, uh, blow it up or something. I'm telling you, we'll be golden with Salvatore. You get a suitable vehicle and fit it with a bomb. Plus, the kids can put on pilgrim costumes and be happy. Now is the Here we go. Car bomb fitted. This one's on the house. So now we're gonna get payback at on the Sendakos. Trying to blow up the Leone casino, we're gonna blow up their casino. Okay, let's go, um, let's go talk to Vincenzo again. Gang war erupted last night in Liberty City with the destruction of the Doll's House, a gaming establishment owned by the mafia-linked Sindaco family. A member of the similarly linked Leone family is thought to be responsible. However, the head of the Leone family, Salvatore Leone, has denied any knowledge of the event. More on LCN later. Okay, I like that how the radio talks about what's going on in the story. Oh, 
It's you. Yeah, how about that? It's me. What do you know? I'll tell you what I know, tough guy. Some of our boys have screwed up a simple, no-brain fucking job. Lousy bastards can't even pull off a simple raid. Maron, why am I surrounded by so many fucking idiots? Oh, I don't know. Birds of a feather? Oh, you're a fucking comedian. Well, <laughs> laugh this off, wise guy. You're the one who's gonna clean this shit up for me. Now get over there and drag those morons back here. Okay, so the, um, the Leone family attempted a robbery, and it has gone terribly wrong. Okay, now this area here, this is Harwood. This is actually the place where Tommy Versetti was actually betrayed by Sonny in 1971. Okay, how do we get them out of there? What are we here to do? Get in. Oh, whoa, no. Ugh. Okay, we still got it under control. Come on, come on. Okay, we got it. Ooh. Okay, now we just take them back to Vincenzo. Pretty easy mission. A lot of the missions in Liberty City stories are pretty easy for the most part. Come on, what's the problem? Huh, well, there we go. We did it. Okay, let's do the um, next mission here. Hot Wheels, oh, this mission. Sure, Mama. I'll call you later. Yeah. Vincenzo. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, of course. I'm being a good boy. Love you. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, sweetheart. Give it a rest now. Here, now get out of here. A little trumpeter for you. <laughs> hey, who loves you, Angel? You do, Vinny. Is that your mother on the phone? Sure. You're disgusting. Where's your respect? Respect? I call it multitasking, Antonio. What? Don't you like getting a hot bra to suck you off? What? Because if it's a problem, I can get Ray to help you out. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm just busting your balls. Relax. Listen, tough guy, I need you to do me a favor. I got girls crazy for blow. I got a car full of it parked in Trenton. Go pick it up. Give me a call. What am I, your driver? Screw you. No, listen, 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 listen. I do it myself, but I'm being watched by the feds. You know I'll look out for you. Trust me. Besides, remember, there's a hierarchy here, capiche? Now be a good kid. That line right there, when he says that specifically, he says, be a good kid, um, that is extremely disrespectful, what he said to Tony there, because Tony even, Tony appears to be older than Vincenzo. So it's, um... That, that line right there is just really, he's shown Tony no respect. And now, remember, you know what happens in GTA games when somebody tells you to go pick up a car. Here we go, Park, car is parked right here nicely. What could possibly go wrong, right? Except this. Freeze! Don't move, asshole. 
Then he set Tony up. Ah. I gotta fight to get back to the, um, to the pain spray right now. Oh man, this is not good right now. not easy with all tires pop like this. So close. Oh, we got it. Oh. This is gonna be good now. Hello? Hey, Tony, how's the car? You son of a bitch, Vinny, you set me up. What? Set you up? Set you up? When you came back to the city, you had nothing. Nothing! I set you up all right, you ungrateful Move bastard. It. With an apartment and a job. And for that generosity, I expect you to take a few risks now and then. I ain't a charity, pal, okay? And I ain't your sugar daddy. So the police were watching the car. Screw the police! When I tell you to do something, you do it, capiche? Oh, yeah, I understand, Vinny. I understand that as long as I work for you, I get treated like a bitch. Well, look, I was making scores while you were looking up girls' skirts. Have your bitch job back, boss. I quit. Tony, you're making a bitch. <laughs> Just hangs up on him. Teach Vincenzo never to mess around with you again. Crush his car. Take his car to the crusher. Get out and wait for the crusher to do its thing. And there we go, say goodbye to Vinny's car. Tony, it's your ma. How long have you been back in town? How come you don't come and see? What's wrong with you? I don't know. I don't know her rules. So in the next part, we'll be doing Tony's mom's missions. Yes, Tony's mom gives you missions in this game. Yes, she does, and she's pretty crazy. So um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.